Hey guys, Brad here from Scooter Street. Well, today we're going to be going through the Molossi Carb Conversion Kit for the Aprilia Ditec engine as well as the Pure Jet engine. Now, I did a little uh, video a little while ago discussing the differences between uh, the Aprilia Ditec engine uh, and the, the later Carby model, which had the Piaggio engine. And there were so many requests about the Carb Conversion Kit information about it. We thought we'd do a more in depth video where we can discuss. Um, the parts that you need for the conversion kit on both the Pure Jet engine, which comes in the Piaggio NRG and the Aprilia SR50 uh, Piaggio Pure Jet engine, as well as the Aprilia Ditec engine, which comes in the SR50 Ditec. So I'll go through some of those parts, as well as some of the parts uh, that you would um, probably look at installing when you do the conversion kit at the same time to really get the best benefit out of doing the carb conversion. Thought I'd start off with just the core of the conversion kit itself. So whether you're converting from a pure jet, which is the Piaggio engine with the Ditec system on it, just rebranded to pure jet, or you're converting an Aprilia Ditec engine, these core parts are not going to change between both engines. Now, obviously the conversion kit itself, which includes um, a plug for the air compressor at the back of uh, both engines, it's pretty much in exactly the same location. Uh, it includes um, the replacement ECU. Essentially, it's a CDI unit that plugs into the ECU plug, um, where the ECU plugs in uh, from factory, as well as a wire joiner, some hoses, and some other additional parts to get the, um, the fuel system functioning with the carby. Obviously, injection system converting to carby, you're also going to need a carby. Now, uh, the good thing with this carb is, again, regardless of whether you have the Aprilia Ditec engine or the Pure Jet engine, uh, this carby will work on both. Um, as the factory intake manifold, where the uh, throttle body goes in on both injection systems, is the same size as the mouth of a PHBG carby. Now, if you've had a, done a bit of research, had a bit of a look into these before, uh, when you go into the Molossi website looking under parts, if you look under a bike, Molossi recommend specific parts under each kit for each bike, depending on which bike you've entered into the website through. So, for instance, if you've selected the Aprilia Ditec, when you've gone onto the Molossi website. Um, Molossi will actually recommend a specific part number carby kit be used with this on a Ditec. And then with the, um, the NRG or the, the Pure Jet engine, uh, they also do the same engine in the SR50 overseas as well, the injection model, they'll recommend a different part number. Now, if you've looked at the Ditec, you'll notice that this carby here is a slightly different part number to what Molossi recommend. Molossi recommend a PHBG 19. This one here is actually a 21. Like I mentioned, it will work on both bikes. Uh, we just found from experience, if you're going to be upgrading a carb kit um, or upgrading your carby, you're better off just going for the 21 mil option rather than limiting yourself to the 19. Uh, I believe the reasoning Molossi recommend the 19 is because as a fairly standard metric, Molossi recommend 19 mil carbies with their sport cylinder kit range. And the only, uh, the, the recommended cylinder kit that Molossi recommend for the Ditec to be used with this is a sport cylinder kit. It's the highest model cylinder kit that Molossi make for the Ditec engine. Now, uh, going outside of Molossi, there are additional options, which is why we recommend the 21. And on top of that, there's not going to be uh, a significant difference in performance between the 19 and the 21. But like I mentioned, if you're going to be upgrading your carb, you're better off just going for the, um, the 21. The actual card bodies between the 19 and the 21 are basically exactly the same. It's just uh, how the inside of the mouth and the venturi has been manufactured from the factory. Now, when we get to the actual cylinder, this is where things between the two engines start to get a little bit different. Now, although both engines use exactly the same injection system, the uh, Ditec injection system between the Pure Jet and the Ditec engine, the actual core of the engines is different. Obviously, we've got the Piaggio engine here, which is the Pure Jet. And we have the Marini core engine here, uh, which is the Ditec. Now, uh, when it comes to the Piaggio engine, there are quite a number of different cylinder kit options available to you, particularly once you've gotten rid of the injection system. Um, there's obviously everywhere from the Molossi Sport um, to the MHR replica, which is the one that I've got here, which is the cylinder that we most commonly recommend for a street uh, orientated or street usage bike, um, if you're going to be building one, which is what I've got here then you obviously have the race options available to you as well. Now, when it comes to the Marini engine, the cylinder options are quite a bit more limited. Now, as I mentioned, that uh, with the Molossi uh, carb conversion kit, the actual uh, core of the kit itself, Molossi recommend a specific cylinder kit, which is uh, a Molossi sport cylinder, 
and they recommend the 19 mil carb with it. And as I mentioned, we have some other cylinder options. This one here in particular is uh, a really great option uh, which, we've, uh, which we've made available recently, which is an idle kit cylinder kit. Obviously it's an uh, aluminium cylinder kit, uh, very comparable to the MHR replica, <clears throat> although it's not nine port like the MHR rep is. There's a significant performance advantage between this and the Molossi Sport. Now, a bit of a problem we're having at the exact current moment with the Molossi Sport, that uh, it's not in stock at Molossi, and we're not sure when it's going to be. So currently, as it stands right at this exact moment, this uh, uh, idle kit is the only option that we have available on our website. Now, there are other options available, but uh, this particular idle kit, although it is single ring, because it has a more standard port map, that's going to be really, um, really great for use on the road. It's going to have uh, power delivery, which is going to be in a fairly usable range for most scooters. Now, if you go and put a race kit on a Marini engine, the problem you're going to run into is uh, you need a race exhaust to match the cylinder kit to get um, the cylinder kit actually making power where it needs to. And there just aren't really uh, great racing options available for the Marini engine as current. The exhaust that we recommend if you do have a Ditec engine, you're doing this conversion at the moment, is the Molossi Art of Performance exhaust, which will match really nicely to this particular idle kit cylinder. Now I wanted to discuss quickly some of the reasons why you might go about uh, converting your uh, pure jet engine or your Ditec engine to Carby and getting rid of the injection system. Now I've done a pretty in-depth video before on some of the differences between Carby and the injection system, specifically on the SR50. Uh, the early model that came into Australia was injected and was then replaced with the Carby model later on. Uh, compare some of the differences uh, both in the Marini and the Piaggio engine, but also in the injection system compared to just a Carby system. Now, it's not that we are, uh, are disliking the injection system as such. It is a great system, and when it is working, it's really powerful and it's very fuel economical as well. Now, its biggest downside is it's quite a complicated system made of a number of parts which are all very prone to failure as they start to age. Now, each of these parts as well, if one does fail, often present with exactly the same problem as to the running of the bike. And each of these parts is also very expensive. So even if you do take your bike to a shop, it can often be very difficult for a mechanic to work out or ascertain which part has failed as each presents in a very similar manner. And it's not something that's very easy just to continually parts change until you find the problem because each, each of the parts is a number of hundreds of dollars, even for the cheapest part. Um, so it can become very expensive very quickly uh, as you're trying to repair a bike that's had some sort of issue. Now, although the conversion kit all in with all the associated parts isn't a particularly cheap conversion itself, it is a safe option because it's a set price. Now, as I mentioned, with the Ditec system, same as the PureJet system, uh, as a good example, uh, a fuel pump alone in Australia is around $600, and it's a very common part to fail. You might go ahead and replace this particular part only to find that it's the fuel injector or the air injector or the ECU or a whole host of other parts that pretty much present with the same issue. So you can sort of see where I'm getting with this. The conversion system is a set cost and it will work virtually regardless of what the issue with the injection system is provided you don't have burnt out wires on, uh, on the bike. Uh, or provided that uh, the actual core part, the mechanical part of your bike in the crank, uh, cylinder, piston, etc., is all still in functioning order. Once you've done the conversion kit, that's it. It's a set cost, and you don't need to be concerned about any more parts of the complicated injection system continuing to fail any further. Now, the other massive benefit of the conversion kit is it allows you to properly tune the scooter, particularly as it pertains to fueling. Now, the injection system is virtually impossible to adjust the fueling. Uh, there has been some companies come out with some different regulators and systems which are no longer available anymore, but did offer this, but it was expensive. Now, Carby is a simple proven system, which is very easy uh, to uh, tune and adjust as need be. Now, because you can change the fueling, you can get the full benefit out of an exhaust or cylinder kit or other combustion upgrade parts that you make to the engine as you go. Now, Molossi make a sports cylinder kit to suit the injection system on both engines, the PureJet and the Ditec. Now, if you've ever installed one of these cylinder kits on one of those engines, you would know how disappointing the performance is. From uh, scooters that I've installed personally myself that I have owned, as well as a number of that we've done in the shop, I would estimate the performance increase to be around 20%, which is pretty abysmal for a 70cc cylinder kit. Even an air-cooled scooter should experience at least a 50% increase in power, 
between 50 and 100% increase, I would say, is fairly normal. So this comes down again to the fueling issue of although you've increased the, uh, the displacement of the cylinder, without being able to properly fuel it, you're not going to get the full increase in performance from the additional displacement. Now once you've converted to carb on both engines, you have quite a number of additional cylinder kit options, especially on the Piaggio engine because it's such a prevalent engine. There's quite a number of options in the Molossi and a number of other brands um, that you'll have open to you once you're running the Carby. Uh, and even for the Marini, which has significantly more limited cylinder kit options, you have uh, a number of additional options from uh, obviously the Molossi Sport Cylinder Kit, which is made for uh, the Marini liquid-cooled engine, the Carby, as well as a number of other brands, including the Idle Kit Cylinder Kit, which I've shown you earlier. Now, our general recommendation with these bikes is if the bike's running well, leave it be. If something does break, your safest option is to rip the Band-Aid off and do the carb conversion kit. Thanks for watching guys. Look, hopefully there was some usable information for you in there, particularly if you do have a, um, a Ditec or a PureJet engine on your scooter. As always, if you have any questions guys, please let us know. We endeavor to answer every single question in the comments. And if you are looking for a conversion kit or any of the parts that we've discussed in the video today, jump onto scooterstreet.com.au and um, we have all those parts available for you on there.